Hey guys, how's it going? In this course, we are going to learn about React and Redux. And we are very focused on Redux in this course, so make sure that you have a React knowledge before you get started. So if you do, you can go ahead and watch this course. Okay, so the first question is, what is Redux? So Redux is basically a state container or usually people say state management library for JavaScript application. And basically what state management does is it will take all of your state inside your components and put them into one place if you want. So most large applications problems is basically it's very hard to lift your state up. For instance, if you want to have a data that every single component can access it, like for instance, if the user is logging or not, or if the user is the author of this data or whatsoever. So those problems can be fixed easily with Redux. So you can see here that if you building an application with Redux is very predictable because all of your state is put into one place and it's very centralized and debuggable because all of your data is in one place so you can easily test your store. And it's also flexible because you can actually use Redux in every JavaScript frameworks out there. But the most popular use case for Redux is actually React. So here we are going to use React for our application. But in this course, we are going to dive deeper into the Redux one. And in the last video, we are going to walk through on how we can set up Redux with React so that we can take benefits of Redux in our React application. Cool. So let's get started to this course. See you guys in the next video.